It is toss time for match number 16 between the Saffron Strikers and the Cinnamon Pacers, two teams who occupy two of the three positions in the bottom half of the table in search of a victory which can propel them up the table. The call is a tail, and it is a tail. Cinnamon Pacers have won their first toss for the tournament. Well, we're going to have a ball first. Benjamin uh, played this one pretty pretty smoothly. Uh, yeah. Outside the off stump, out caught, and there it, he goes. Uh, this one taken there, it goes down to uh, a fine third man for four. Again, ball moving away. Yeah. Well played. Uh, this one steered down to third man. The feeler feeling square come around and just uh, bubbled out of his hands there. And go over the roof for another poor eight smashing four. Oh. This one is swung over come long on for the till, first poor eight maximum. Oh. And hitting across this one. He's out leg before. Another fruit of dismissal. Hit. And this way does this one go? Cover comes wrong. And takes a catch. Uh, big wicket there. Fruit of dismissal. Again, going for the big shot. Naren come jong. The third man come jong. Take the catch. And again, another fruit of dismissal. Hit down to long on. Let's see. Uh, go over that long on feeler for another poet maximum. Hit down to cover. This will be the cover feeler goes over the rope uh, for another uh, poet smashing four. Uh, Lewis is hitting one down to mid wicket straight to the feeler. Another fruit of dismissal there. Uh, hit down to long off ball traveling really quickly and going through the feeler uh, down on the boundary. St. Paul looking for a run, which is well, really could have found himself in trouble. He's looking for that run. Ball played past a short fine leg, and it's going to go close to the boundary as it goes over, over the rope now for another um, power. It's smashing four. Hit straight, and this one goes in the air. The long off coming around and takes the catch. Ball uh, in the air. Let's see the backward point comes around and takes the catch. Hit straight. Let's see. Mid off and mid on. Let's see who collects. Yeah, just the mid off comes on and just top the jump. And it's straight Duncan. Hit. Let's see. Uh, Dunk took uh, extra cover. And St. Paul picked up. Better delivery outside, but this time he's whacked and whacked through the onside. One bounce across mid wicket, that's four, and a power eight cracking four it was. This time he's cutting him, playing uppishly through the offside. It will go into the boundary now for four, so another power eight cracking four. This time he smacked him, and this is gone. It went like a tracer bullet all the way out to the boundary. That's what you call a power eight cracking four. This time he's going for the maximum. It's high in the air. Will it be caught or will it go over the boundary? It clears the boundary now only maybe by just about 10 or so feet. But it does clear the boundary. Ryan John really didn't have a chance. And a power 8 maximum. And pushing his score to 21. This time he's going back over the ball ahead. Surely it will race into the boundary now. And uh, clearing over the ball ahead. And four runs. So another power 8 cracking four. He's pushing him back and... The shake of the head from the umpire. Miscued. Well, this one is gone and the birds are in danger because it went up and it went hard and it went high and it went to some distance. Power aid maximum. This time St. is heading down the ground and it will travel one bounce inside the boundary. Four runs. Turned it down to the onside. 
It's one. They come back for two. And uh, they complete two. Thought of the single and uh, the umpire. Stein is driving, uppishly miscued it. There's a feel of running around on the offside. The catch will be taken. Yes, it is taken, and he's gone. So more wickets falling, and we did say that, that when these wickets fall, they fall in a flurry. Onto it nicely in total control, well negotiated. The call is one. They're coming back for two, and he does hit the stumps, a direct throw, and this could be danger. Time he's driving outside the off stump and all the way down to the boundary. And the cinnamon pieces winning by four wickets. We have Keisha Holas Belfon who's going to make the presentation to the most economic bowler of the match, Larry Edward. Who would have two of us would have went for ten runs on economy rate of five. And the second presentation to Larry this afternoon. Who for ten will be the uh, of the match. I believe it's his first one for the tournament. Larry Edward, um, cinnamon pieces, leading bowler in this effort. Spice,